Hi friends, welcome to Nakshana. Today we are going to make paneer butter masala. For the masala, we would need 6 to 7 cloves of garlic, 1 inch ginger peas, 3 ripe red tomatoes, 2 big onion, 4 tablespoons of butter and 200 grams of paneer. First, we are going to make the masala. For that, heat a kadai and add 2 tablespoons of butter. Once the butter is melted, add our onion and saute them. You just need to roughly chop the onions as we are going to grind this mixture afterwards. Add some salt for the onion. Now add our garlic and ginger and saute well. Now the onion is half cooked and is transparent. Now it's time to add in our roughly chopped tomatoes. The tomato should become tender, so for that we have to cover and cook for 10 minutes. No need to add water while cooking the tomatoes because the water from the tomato oozes out and tomatoes and onions get cooked in that juice. When the onion and tomatoes are half cooked, now it's time to add our cashews. Take two handful of cashews and mix well. Now add half cup of water and allow it to boil. The mixture is boiling. Now cover and cook for another 7 to 8 minutes. After 
eight minutes. It is well cooked, and onion and tomatoes are very soft. Now it's time to add the masalas. Add one and a half tablespoons of red chilli powder. You can change the quantity of chilli powder according to your taste. Add 1 4 tablespoon of turmeric powder and half tablespoon of coriander powder. Mix the masalas well. The raw smell of the masala should go and taste the curry and add salt. Mix well and taste. Now this is the time to adjust the masalas and salt in this curry. All of the mixture to boil for another 2 minutes and transfer it to a plate. Let this mixture cool down, then you can grind it finely in a mixer jar. The cashews should be very soft. Then only you will get a fine paste. If the cashews are not cooked, you, you can see fine pieces of cashew in the gravy. In a pan, add 2-3 to three tablespoon of butter for making a curry. In the butter, add some fennel seeds. Add one piece of cinnamon for flavor. Now add the pureed masala to the butter and mix well. Fry for 2-3 to three minutes. Mm -hmm. 
Rinse the mixer jar with some water and add it to. Now you should get a thick gravy consistency. Chop the paneer into cubes and add them to this gravy. Mix well and let it boil. When it reaches boiling point, cover and cook for another 5 minutes. After 5 minutes, mix well. Now our paneer butter masala is almost ready. To this, add 1 to 2 tablespoons of kasur methi leaves. Crush them in your palm and add them. Now our pani butter masala is ready. To enhance its flavor, add some butter on top. You can add the garlic butter we have made in our channel to get a super taste. 